everyone, so welcome back, I hope you're all well. Uh, first of all, this video is going up on a Monday. Um, I'm gonna be uploading on Mondays from now on, Monday evenings and Friday evenings, so I hope that's okay with you guys. But yes, yeah, today, the, uh, the job at hand, which I'm slightly terrified about, I've been putting this off for so long, but uh, today is the day I tackle this mess, and this, and this, my floor drape. <laughs> There's something about spring that just makes me want to get rid of everything um, and really kind of just whittle down the amount of junk that I have because I have a lot of stuff. I'm never going to be one of those people that embraces minimalism. I would love to. I think it's a great thing to achieve in your life but it's just not for me because I have I have too many things and I am very sentimental. I find it hard to part with stuff so I feel like I just need to have a good fresh leaf to start with in terms of my wardrobe. So I'm going to be giving a ton of stuff away. I have a huge charity pile waiting and I'm going to be selling a few things on Depop as well which I've never actually done before but I have a few nicer things that as much as I love I think it's probably time to part with and um, I feel like they need to go to a, a better home. So I'm going to be sticking some stuff up on Depop Hopefully I will have done it by the time this video is up, so I will leave a link down below. So this is what I uh, am working with basically. This is my wardrobe. I can't actually get to it at the moment because the floor drape has taken over. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to open it. <laughs> it's not huge. Um, it's very jam-packed though. And then I have this. Um, I got this a few months ago. It's just a little... Uh, what would you call this? Like a little extra rail, basically. Um, I got it because it's really small, it's a nice size, because I, I'd love a full rail, but it's just not something that's going to fit here in my room, there's not a lot of space. So, um, this I think is quite nice to have just pieces that I'm wearing currently, a few things that, you know, I'm going to grab for, the stuff I want to wear that particular month, things like that. So, as well as the wardrobe, I think this is going to be something I need to work on because right now uh, a lot of these hangers are just empty. I've got a pile here which I think is knitwear and jumpers. So that might have to go away now because it's not winter anymore. And then this. This is my coats pile. I just have too many coats, nobody needs that many. Um, and then this is looking okay. This is my shoe drobe, my shoe wardrobe. Um, there's a few bags and nicer things on here as well. I could definitely see myself um, saying goodbye to a few things on here, as much as I love this little mulberry bag, which is, I think, probably one of my first ever designer purchases. I just don't wear it. Um, what else could I part with? I love these shoes too. These are from Aquazura. I just don't wear them a lot. I wore them around Christmas time, which I think is maybe the only time I wear red. Um, so I might have a think about those. So the one thing I have actually done um, is this drawer here. I mean, it's one drawer, but it's a start. This is my pyjama drawer, and I got rid of so many old t-shirts, things with rips in, things I'd had for years that I was kind of just keeping to use as pyjamas, but actually I have some really nice little sets of pyjamas now. And then I have some gym gear. Look at my pitiful little pile of gym stuff. Can you tell I never, ever work out? Uh, so I have some space in there, which I'm not sure what to do with yet. One of the things that I noticed from clearing out just that one drawer is how many t-shirts and slogan t-shirts and jumpers and things I have. I don't think I can keep all of these. Maybe this will be a good place to start actually getting rid of some stuff. Um, so this one, Jubblies, I love that at the moment, I'm keeping that. This one says brunch, it's from Private Party and it's so soft, it's probably one of the nicest um, t-shirts I have, but I just, I don't wear it, I really never ever wear it. So I might pop that one on the Depop pile. What is this? I think this is from Urban Outfitters. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the giveaway pile possibly going to charity that one. This is an old ASOS one, which I think is so cute. It's probably a little bit too tatty now, so I think that one can go on the charity pile. This one, I actually still wear quite a lot, but I forgot I had it, so I'm gonna keep that. That's a Whistles one. I have had this David Bowie t-shirt since I was, I wanna say 14 maybe, and I'm 24 now. This is going on 10 years old. I feel like I need a pile just for sentimental things that I can't get rid of. Am I becoming the definition of a hoarder? Is that actually what hoarders do? Oh, what do I do with this kind of thing? I just don't know. I'm gonna have a maybe pile. I'll come back to it at the end of all of this and then we'll see. So I have narrowed the t-shirt pile down to these ones. I've got four, I think, and then one little jumper at the bottom there. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's move on. I think my best bet is probably to just take everything out and start from there. So just get everything out of the wardrobe, put it on the bed, and then just start narrowing it down that way. Right, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna start, oh my God, with this pile. Try not to squash Moon. 
who's decided to sit right in the middle of the bed. Very helpful. I've just realised as well I'm going to have to take everything off of this first before I can even get into my wardrobe. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff on here. Oof, noisy hangers. And a lot of this stuff actually look, still has labels. Um, so this is kind of stuff I have never worn. Okay, there we go. That's gone. So now we can actually see inside the wardrobe. This is all the space. This is all my stuff. A whole pile of things at the bottom here. And this actually, I don't know if I can show you, goes way, way back. This is actually the cupboard under the stairs. Please, that's a seagull. If you're not going to help, don't help. I'm going to the movies. Oh my God. Funny. I don't want to hurt things that... Really? A blazer? This here is the entire contents of my wardrobe, including boxes and bags that I also found of clothes. I've even buried in the pile. Oh no, you look very cosy here though actually with this dressing gown around you. So now you can see actually this space is huge. Um, I could probably sleep in here, very Harry Potter. Okay, so I'm officially on the floor. Um, I found a box of summer things, which honestly I don't, I don't know what's in here, so I could find some amazing things, I could find some things that I don't know why I decided to keep. I bought this dress from Tula Rosa uh, via ASOS, and I didn't think it'd be very flattering, but it actually is super, super flattering. I really, really like it. Um, I can even wear no bra with it, which is just never heard of for me. So I'm definitely gonna keep that, and I'm actually really excited to take that out. It might not be quite warm enough for that one yet. Okay, this is an old, an oldie but a goodie. I actually wore this dress to Wimbledon, I feel like maybe two years ago. Don't know if this is still gonna fit me. It's a 12, okay, that'll still fit. And it's got this really cute like lacy bit and frillies, little pom-poms on there as well. So I definitely have to keep that, I love that dress. This is a top from River Island. It's one of those off the shoulder tops, it's a bit stretchy. I don't actually have anything else like this one. I have a few off the shoulder tops, but not anything this floaty. So I am gonna keep that because I do like it. This is from Zara and I've never actually worn it. It's um, at first I thought it was a denim dress with little like cutouts and shoulder bits which I thought would be amazing So I bought it, I got it home and then I tried it on and it's actually a play suit I'm going to try that on but if not I will be selling that one This is a dress from Topshop that I really really like actually It's gingham, I'm really into gingham um, It's blue and I feel like this is just too big though It's, it's a smock dress so it's going to be huge anyway But it's just too big, I feel like with smock dresses you should always slice down And I made that mistake um, so I'm not sure about that one. I think I'm going to try that on as well and just see. Oh, this is one of the Alexa Chung for M&S range. Um, I love this dress. It's beautiful. It just doesn't really suit me very well. I'm going to sell that one, I think, because I'm not sure if they still make it. It might be sold out. So this is the dress that I wore to V-Fest two years ago. Got the worst sunburn because this is the shoulder bit and I had literally a square sunburn straight line down there which is very embarrassing um it's a nice dress actually more lace white dresses okay i think i'm gonna need to be really really hard with myself and only keep one or two of these this top i love i think i'm gonna keep this it's like a cropped off the shoulder top from top shop i'm trying to think of the stuff that i have at the moment that i want to wear for summer and how all of this is going to go together with it so like this top for instance i can see me wearing this with those loose boyfriend jeans that i'm liking at the moment um but then this one here which is a shirt this is also from Topshop, very similar, but it's like a button-up loose shirt. It's probably not going to go with anything that I have right now, so I should probably give that one away as well. This dress I wore to see Taylor Swift. Oh, it's a really like simple plain t-shirt dress, but I just don't know if that's very me anymore. I'm going to give that one away. Oh, this is my little denim smock dress from ASOS. I love this dress. Okay, I can't wait to stop wearing that again. Oh my god totally forgot about that right that is the summer box gone there wasn't a lot of stuff in there actually there was less than i was expecting there to be okay so we have the to keep pile for summer stuff and then this is the giveaway and sell pile and um, also what do i do with all my disney ears where do i put these oh that's more stuff to think about um but yeah i'm happy with that so now i have one empty box and i think i'm gonna put jumpers and scarves and things like that in not all of my jumpers because i mean this is england you never know when it's gonna be chilly um, but I think the thick ones and maybe like the Christmas jumpers that I can see poking out from this pile, they can probably deal with going away for now. I also found, which I totally forgot was in there, a ton of 
like super special dresses and look at this one it's got sequins on it um like these long kind of party dresses this one you might remember from one of my favorite videos on my channel which is called the date night and it's got the most amazing bow on the back look at that it's a huge i kind of feel like i have to keep it i may want to be dressed up as a giant christmas present one day again i'm gonna put this one in the wardrobe now because it's just taking up so much space it's also really heavy too but I mean, this dress, it's too special not to hang on to. These three, though, I'm not so sure about. I think I bought these for a Christmas party. And look, this one still has a tag on it. And I just never ended up actually wearing them. This one I might keep just because, look at that, it's gorgeous. I've also got this dress here, which you will have seen, I think it was in my Christmas Get Ready of Me last year. Um, it is from Frock and Frill. It's a really pretty kind of, can you see the sequins on it? Like shimmery lace black dress it's really really nice i feel like you could wear this to any kind of like occasion because a black dress is always just a black dress so i'm gonna pop that one on a mint green hanger and hang on to that into the wardrobe it goes um what else do i have here this one i have never worn i can't lift my arms up in it um i should probably get a size up but then i think it would be too big around my waist but i, I can't lift my arms past like here when i wear this so a little bit impractical that one is not gonna stay. This white dress I love. This is very similar actually to the other Topshop one that I just decided to keep. So maybe I should only have one of them. This is actually a midi dress, it's quite long. I think what I'm gonna do if I keep this one, I should give away the other Topshop white frilly one because they're pretty much the same. They are different lengths, but when I think about it, I think I prefer this one more. I didn't even know I still had this. This is another really similar kind of like shirt, lacy dress. Um, love this, but it is not my size. It doesn't fit me. I can't zip it up. I think I kept it in hopes that it would because it's so pretty. Um, but no, it doesn't fit. This is so nice as well. Look, it's from um, Warehouse actually. It's a really lovely dress. Looks a little bit self portrait y. I don't know why I have all these fancy dresses. I never dress up or go anywhere. This one's from Zara. Um, it's another one of those like lacy really dresses it's a midi dress i've worn it quite a few times now to a few different things I think maybe i'll give that away actually oh i'm being really really strict with myself now do i keep it no i'm gonna let it go goodbye zara dress these are again some more long dresses this one is from topshop it's so nice it's so pretty i think this is another sold out one that i managed to get my hands on last year for girls with boobs it's just not the one it's so low cut and there's just no way of wearing a bra there's no way of anything working wearing this, so I think I'm going to give that one away. Which is really sad, because I thought I would wear it, but I never did. So, put that one on the giveaway pile. This is like an off-the-shoulder kind of frilly dress. It's not the nicest one. I think it's just from ASOS, so that one can go. This dress I really, really love. Um, this is from Topshop. Again, I have quite a few things from Topshop in the wardrobe. And um, it's actually really flattering, and I really like it, so I'm definitely going to keep that one. You have been promoted to a mint green hanger, you may stay. Into the wardrobe you go. So many of these like pleated midi skirts, I can't keep all of them. Um, okay, this is like a pink one, this is so pretty. I think this was actually my grandma's, it's like a vintage piece. I've had it for so long, but I can't give that away. Um, so that one will stay. Also, we all know how much I'm into pink at the moment, so that is just perfect. Okay, these I should probably only keep one of. The gold one is so light and easy to wear, and I actually really like this color. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. And give that one away this is probably what my biggest problem is i have so many jumpers this is just a pile of jumpers that i picked out from everything on the bed i don't think this is even all the jumpers i have but this is too many so my tactic so far seems to have been put everything into groups so things like jumpers dresses t-shirts trousers jeans and then whittle the groups down into the ones you just want to keep and then think about everything as a whole which seems to be working i think you should also go by the rule of when was the last time you wore this thing? Um, if it's been over a year, maybe you shouldn't keep it. The pom-poms have totally fallen off of this. It was from Warehouse and so many are coming off. Like this one is, is literally about to fall off now. Uh, I don't think it's that noticeable yet. So I will hang on to this one for a bit longer because I love it. I love anything with pom-poms and frills and tassels. Um, this one is just plain white. I think it's from Topshop. I don't think this one was ever very flattering, so that one can go. This is another Topshop one that I've had for ages. I love this. I think it is the nicest kind of slouchy fit, not overly thick knitted grey jumper, but it's made of wool, so it is really, really itchy on me. As much as I love it, I think I'm going to have to give that away because 
it, it's just uncomfortable to wear. <laughs> this one I think I'm going to give away. It's a really beautiful colour. Um, I just don't love it on me. I don't think it's super flattering for me. This jumper I love as well. I went to such great lengths to track this down. Um, it's from Mango and it's this amazing like raspberry pink colour but it's very high neck so this is definitely a winter one so I think I should probably give that one away too. This as you guys know is one of my favourite favourite jumpers in my wardrobe. Um, I wear this so much, it's just a simple plain jumper from ASOS, but honestly this is the nicest, thin, kind of throw on, lightweight jumper, I think it's great, so I'm going to keep that, I have about three of them now, so that is saying, also have it in pink, pink one I don't wear quite as much, but it's just such a flattering fit of jumper, I'm going to keep that one too. This one is my little middle finger embroidered grey sweat jumper which I got from Shop Anime. Um, I've got to hang on to that one because it came all the way from San Francisco. So what I have left on this pile is just a sea of the exact same jumper over and over again. Grey jumpers. I have them in abundance. I have way too many of them. I'm going to try and keep two. This one's from Topshop and I wear this all the time. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep that. It's just a really nice slightly high neck kind of like a funnel neck one um it's quite long it's really flattering it's a little bit ribbed that one is definitely going to stay this is from zara and it's a really really nice kind of like slouchy gray jumper but it has these little tie sleeves at the bottom again i wear this one all the time so i think that's the second one i'm going to keep so we've gotten down to shirts um and look at this i have one two three four Blue and white stripy shirts. Okay, I'm gonna let myself keep one of these. Why do I have four? This is a button-up shirt that I've had for a really long time, um, so I think it's probably a little bit too worn. This one is an off-the-shoulder white shirt. I think this has an open back, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is my favourite, so maybe not that one. This one is like a wraparound shirt. Um, I do quite like that one, but I think my favourite is this one here. This is from River Island. This one actually has um, these like big bell sleeves, which I really like. So I think of all of them, that's the one I'm probably gonna wear the most. Um, so I'm gonna keep that and then pop those in the giveaway pile. Same goes for these. I literally have so many plain white shirts. They're just all the same, just plain white, some with like lacy bits, most of them just sheer plain shirts. This one is more of a pyjama style shirt. I like this one because it has little pink pockets. Although it's not completely white, it's quite creamy. Um, so I feel like the colour is a little bit off. This one is pretty much exactly the same without the little um, piping pink detail. This one's from Topshop. This is where things get ridiculous. This is exactly the same as this one. Um, I think this is from Topshop. This is so old. I love this top though. I've worn it so many times. I think I'm going to give this one away though because... It's the same as this, this one is newer, um, and this one I think I've just probably worn a few too many times, so. Oh, this one can go. It's so beautiful though, I think I'm going to put this one up on my Depop. So I think of all of these white tops, I'm going to keep this lacy one, this embroidered one, um, this one which is cropped and off the shoulder, and then these two are literally the same. Um, I think I'm going to keep the plain one rather than the one with the little pink bits on the pockets because they're just too similar and I think if I had to pick one I would wear that one instead of that. So I am now, what time is it? I don't even know what the time is. I think I'm, I'm roughly about 10 episodes of The Big Bang Theory into the tidy of the wardrobe and they're half an hour each so it's been a while um, but the bed is looking a little bit tidier. I have this one box here which is now full of my jumpers, scarves and hats so all like really wintry things which I'm going to pop into the wardrobe in a sec. This is the last big pile that I have to tackle. This is all denim jeans. Who knew I had so many pairs of jeans? These are my H&M boyfriend jeans. I'm really into those at the moment. I keep wearing them so those will stay. And then I have a second pair of them just in case. Who remembers these? Oh my God, these are the big wide leg clown jeans that I bought last summer. Was it last summer? I really love these, but Honestly, I just haven't worn them, which is a shame because I think they're so cool. And then I have just the hundreds and hundreds of pairs of the same skinny jeans from ASOS. These are all the Ridleys and I, I really, really like them. These are Jamie's. Um, I think these are quite new, so I'm going to keep those. These ones are coated um, and I really like those. I think they're a bit more of a dressier type of black jeans, so 
I will keep one pair of those. And then we just have a ton of blue stuff. Maybe I'll try and keep one pair of skinny jeans because those are more boyfriend fit. So I think I've narrowed it down. Um, I'm gonna keep one pair of the ASOS Farley jeans in like the light denim and then one pair of ASOS Ridley jeans. So these are kind of skinny. These are skinny but with a bit more of a looser fit. And then I have my boyfriend ones. The skinny jeans, the coated jeans, and then the white jeans. I emptied out some space in this drawer which just had a load of jumpers in it. So um, I've got shorts for the summer and one denim skirt. So I think I'm going to try and get the rest of these into that drawer. So I folded them up and put them this way instead of kind of flat and stacking them. Which is really great because I can see them all now. It makes so much more sense. So I actually have quite a lot of room left in this drawer which I didn't think I would do. So I think in this space here I'm going to put the t-shirts that I organised earlier. Um, so they should fit just about here perfect so i think i am pretty much done um this is what the wardrobe looks like now there is a whole lot less stuff in here now and i managed to use all the green hangers so i can i think i can see things better now than when there were black hangers my white shirts are still probably a bit chunkier than they should be but that's okay um i just put back some of my favorite things which i'm definitely keeping like this whistles one i've got a few jumpers in here maybe a few too many but they don't take up too much space they're quite thin knit ones and then my skirts and then dresses and things like that and more fancy dresses here so i actually have quite a lot of space if i push everything back to add in a few more things if i want to add some stuff for spring and summer if i do any shopping so that's good i think it's always best to have space rather than everything crammed in and then here this is my rack of kind of my more daily worn stuff things that i reach for more often um that i've just gone through i've got some really fun summery spring things on here now that i'm really excited to wear so i've got my awesome little forever and always silk bomber i've got some denim and um, some gingham really into gingham at the moment and then just some little light spring colors i'm pretty proud of myself it's taken about seven hours but i'm happy with what we've done there so this is the state of the rest of the room um i have a whole entire bag there for depop so don't forget i'm going to be listing that as this video goes live so it should all be up ready for you now if i've managed to actually do that so many hangers this is how much stuff i managed to take out of the wardrobe these were all the hangers that i got rid of this is a bag for charity these two i think are going to go to a charity shop and then i have one more box left of stuff that i'm going to sort through and then the one thing i actually didn't manage to do was this pile of coats which i'm a bit sad about because i really wanted to get through these but that is a job for another day because i'm knackered now that took it out of me so that is my wardrobe declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think I'm definitely going to come back to this maybe in a few months time and see how it's all sitting. If I like everything still and just have a bit more of a, a small scale declutter. This is definitely one of those kind of big throw everything out kind of jobs. I'm probably going to do this with my makeup as well. So keep an eye out for that. That's another huge, huge thing to get through. That about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye.